Let's talk about sequences in series lesson number seven and geometric series. Now, what are we talking about when we're talking about a geometric series? Well, geometric series really is just the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. So you have two, four, eight, 16 as a geometric sequence. If you add those terms together and get the total, that is called a geometric series. So what is the formula for the sum of a geometric series? In a geometric series of n terms, and we have Sn, and you have the first term, and then the second term results from multiplying by r, the common ratio, r again, r again, and you see this term here, ar squared, is multiplied by r to get this next term, and so on and so forth, until you get all the way to this tn at the end, a to the r, or sorry, a times r to the n minus 1. Okay, if you multiply every single term here by r, so you put r here, put another r here, so then this would be a r squared, put another r here, you can see on this left side you have r times the sum of the series, and then instead of just a, you would have a times r, this second term that used to be a r is now a r squared, and so you notice that you have an r on each one. So then in the end, this r to the n minus 1, if you think r to the n minus 1 times r to the 1, remember that multiplying powers of the same base, you're going to add the exponents. So this is going to be r n minus 1 plus 1, that's equal to r to the n. So that's where you get this r to the n. Okay, if you subtract line 1 from line 2, then you have r to the s n minus this s n. And then what will happen here? Well, if you notice, this AR minus this one, you can see how that cance cancels out, right? And then you have your minus here. And then this AR squared will cancel out that AR squared. And then this AR cubed will cancel out that one. And so on and so forth. This AR to the n minus 1 will cancel that one. That one's going to be the one before. And so what you'll have is just this piece left, the a r to the n, minus that a. Now why is there a negative there? It's because you're taking this piece and subtracting that. And all of these disappear. For example, a r squared minus a r squared, that's going to be 0. So then you end up with this a r to the n, which you see right there, and then minus a. Okay, if you do that, then now you can factor here, you could say Sn multiplied by r minus 1, and you can see how this is the first r Sn, and that's minus 1 times Sn is negative Sn. And again, you can factor out the a here. So now we have this Sn times r minus 1 is equal to a times r to the n minus 1. And so when you divide both sides by r minus 1, you're going to get this formula. Sn is equal to a times bracket r to the n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Of course, you can't use r equaling 1 here. Or you could have it this way, right? This a can be thought of as t1. So this formula connects then a, the first term, or t1, the common ratio r, the number of terms n, and the sum of the series Sn. If any of these three values are known, then the fourth one, the other one, can be determined. We should keep in mind, though, when the number of terms in the series n is not known, then it's really tough to use this, this formula because we don't actually know what n is. And then if we're trying to find Sn, we need to know that n. So there's another version of the formula. And that's this one. Sn is equal to r times tn minus a over r minus 1. Or in other words, instead of using a, you could use t1 here. So really, this is the same formula. When r equals 1, the series is just a plus a plus a plus a. And there's n of those a's, and so it's just equal to na. So what we're going to do now for class example 1, we're going to show how this formula, Sn is equal to r tn minus a, over r minus 1. How do we get that? Well, if we start with this one here, we have Sn is equal to 
a times r to the n minus, oops, just r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1. Now what we're go going to do is now expand back. So we're going to say this is r a r to the n minus 1, or sorry, minus a. And then if we can think of this, we can say that this a to the r to the n, let's just take a look at that for a second. And we'll say a to the r to the n is really a r to the n minus 1 times another r. If you notice this r to the n minus 1 times r will be r to the n. So when we have this, we have a times r to the n minus 1 times r and then minus a. Okay, well in that case we can take this part here and notice that this represents the general term of the geometric se sequence. Here, this is a r to the n minus 1. So we can replace that with tn. So tn times r minus a. Oops, uh, you'll have to remember here that each one of these has its times this is divided by r minus 1. So I'm just going to put it in this form just to make it correct here, and then I can put it back down, down on the bottom. But there wasn't enough room here to put this here. So we can conclude then this, the sum of a number of terms here of a geometric sequence is equal to, and remember that tn times r is the same thing as r times tn, so we'll say r tn minus a divided by r minus 1. And there we have it. Let's take a look at class example number 2. The sum of the first 15 terms of this sequence, negative 5, 10, negative 20, and so on. Now we don't have all the numbers, so we're going to have to use the formula, but we can say that our a or t1 is equal to the first term, which is negative 5. And we can also calculate this r. It looks like a geometric sequence, so let's see if we can convince ourselves. r is equal to t2 divided by t1. In this case, this is 10 divided by negative 5, and we get negative 2. And negative 2 times 10, that is negative 20. So we have a common r here, a common ratio. So it looks like we have a geometric sequence. And so if we're getting the sum, we could start with this. Well, here it says that there are 15 terms. Well, that tells us then that the n value is equal to 15. So we, let's write that down. We have n is equal to 15. So it looks like we have three of these variables that we know. And writing out the formula for Sn, that's equal to a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. You could also think of a as t1. But here, we're going to plug in the fact that a is negative 5. I'm going to put that in brackets. Then we have our r, which is negative 2. Put that in brackets as well. The n value is 15. And we have minus 1. And that's all, all over our negative 2 minus 1. And let's just put that into our calculator. So we have our 2 to the 15. Oh, it's negative 15. So, sorry, not negative 2. Negative 2, negative two brackets to the 15. And then minus 1. So we have our negative 5 times negative 32769 divided by negative 3. So times negative 5 divided by negative 3. And we get negative 54615. This is our S15. We should say S15. So S15 is equal to negative 54615. Class example number three. Determine the sum of this series here. It looks like we have, let's find our r. Our r is equal to t2 divided by t1. 
So this is negative 12 divided by 4. This is equal to negative 3. Common, is it a common ratio? Let's see, negative 12 times negative 3 is positive 36. So it looks like it is a common ratio. Do we have our A? Hmm. Oh, yes, A is equal to, or T1 is equal to positive 4. And N, do we have N? No, we don't have N. So it doesn't look like we know how many terms are in this series. But here's a clue. We have the last term here. So whatever that position holds, this is a T of mystery N, right? So we don't know what it is. But Tn is equal to our negative 8748. We have a formula for the sum using Tn and not using N. And which one is it? If we look at our formula sheet, we can say that Sn is equal to R times Tn minus A divided by R minus 1. Well, plugging those values in, the R is negative 3. We'll put that in brackets. Our Tn is negative 8748 minus our A value of 4. And then that's divided by our R value of negative 3 minus 1. Okay, so we get this value of, we have this negative 8748 8 times negative 3. And then we have minus 4. So we get 26240 divided by negative 4. And then we have, divided by negative 4, this is equal to negative 6,560. So how many terms were there? Well, that's a different question. But we at least know what the sum is without actually having to calculate how many terms are in that sequence. We just know that it ended with that term and that it was a geometric series. Okay, let's take a look at class example four. The sum of a certain number of terms in the series here is equal to negative 104,858. What is the last term that would make this series add up to negative 104,858? This here, this 104,858 negative, is equal to what our S N is. Okay, we can also figure out that we can see this is A, so A is equal to negative 2. And R, we can do a quick calculation, T2 divided by T1 to see that 8 divided by negative 2, that's equal to negative 4. So the R is equal to negative 4. Now here, we don't know what N is. Okay, let's take a look at one of our formulas. We have Sn is equal to, since we're, what is the last term? Remember, we're talking about last term. That points to a Tn, right? So which formula has a Tn in it? Well, we have this Sn is equal to R times Tn minus A divided by R minus 1. So we have Sn, we have R, we have T, oh, we don't have Tn, but we have A here. So if we could plug in these values, here the R is negative 4, that's in brackets. Our Tn is, oh, we don't know what that is. But then it's minus our negative 2. And that's over top of our 4, R, which is negative 4. Maybe I should have made that red. And then it's minus 1. Now Sn here is equal to negative 100. Four one zero four eight five eight. So here we can say this is negative one zero four eight five eight is equal to negative four t n plus two over negative five. All right. If we continue this, we can say negative one zero four times negative five is. 500,000, 24,290, and that's equal to negative 4, oops, negative 4 Tn plus 2. Okay, 
and let's subtract 2 now. Subtract 2, subtract 2, and so just to review, we had 524, 290 is equal to negative 4, Tn plus 2, and so we subtracted 2 on both sides. We get 524, 288 is equal to negative 4, Tn, and dividing both sides by negative 4, we have our Tn. Let's take a look at class example number 5. In a geometric sequence, the fifth term is 1024, and the common ratio is 4. Find the sum of the first seven terms of the sequence. So we have, we draw this out here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the fifth term is 1024, and we have 6 and 7. I think it would be easy enough, if we use the common ratio of 4, we could times by 4 here and get all of these terms, and then add them all together. But is there a different way of doing that? Well, let's see what we need. So let's write down our series formula. We have two versions of it. Let's try this one. Sn is equal to a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. So that means that we need an r. But r, we're told already it's 4. We need an a, which we don't know yet. We need an n. Well, n, it says that we're talking about the seven terms. So that means that n is equal to 7. Okay, so n is equal to 7. And really then, we only need to find our a because we have, then we would have a, r, and n, and we could find the sum of the seven terms. So let's try and find a. Well, a, if you think about this, this is r. If you start at a, whatever that number is, multiply by r will get here, multiply by r will get you the third term, multiply by another r to get you the fourth term, and multiply by r to get the fifth term. So in other words, a times r, 1, 2, 3, 4, r to the 4 is equal to 10, 24. All right. Now the other way of thinking about it is considering this part of the sequence to be its own sequence and calling this Tn. In that case, we would have Tn is equal to a times r to the n minus 1. The Tn is 1024. We have a, and we're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the fifth term, so n here is 5. And so we'd have 1024 is equal to a r to the 4. But we have the same thing here. So r, we're told that r is equal to 4. So a times 4 to the 4 is equal to 1024. And that means a then is going to be 1024 divided by this 4 to the 4. When we get that, then let's find out what 4 to the 4 is. It's 256. So a is equal to 1024 divided by 256. And so a is equal to 4. Okay? Now we're not done here. We do have what we need, though. We have our a, and we can continue this formula. So I'll write it again here. We have a times r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1. But now we have a is 4. Then we have the rate come ratio, which is also 4. The n value is 7 minus 1 all over 4 minus 1. Well, I should say this come ratio is 4 and 7 as well. And when we do this, we can say 4 to the 7 minus 1, 16, 383. So 4 times 16, 383 divided by 3. So times 4 divided by 3, and we get the value of 21,844. That is the sum of seven, the first seven terms of this sequence. Okay, you're ready for the first nine questions, one to nine, and we'll continue on with our examples.